Antonio and I got back from the hospital not too long ago. We got takeout for a late lunch if you haven't eaten already. Did you go out? I'll just leave the food in the fridge if you are out somewhere. I'm here at the slots. I've got a feeling I'm gonna win big today. I can feel it in my bones. Again? I told you to cut back a little since we need to pay for Antonio's medical expenses. We had the doctor examine him. He felt a bit feverish. The doctor ran some tests today. Turns out, it's not just a usual fever. We finally know why his health's been on the decline for the past few months. I'll only be here for a few hours. Uh-oh, that doesn't seem like any fun. Sounds very expensive, too. I'm worried. It looks like his condition is getting worse. The doctor said he probably doesn't have much time left. He told us to gather the family and inform everyone to prepare for the worst. Oh my, is that really what he said? We knew this day would come eventually, but it's still so difficult. Are you doing okay? Let me know if you need anything. Heck yeah! This just made my day! I really hit the jackpot! Ooh, I just knew today would be my lucky day. Huh? What are you talking about? You said it won't be long. I can finally get rid of that pest! Woohoo! Don't you feel sad at all? This is your husband we're talking about. If I were down in the dumps, I wouldn't still be here celebrating at the slots. Oh, don't you want to come home yet? So, don't you even care about his well-being at all? You don't want to come home and check on him? I'm sure he'd appreciate it if you calm and showed that you cared a little. I can pick you up if you want. Bah, he'll still be there when I get back. Let me have my fun. Taking care of that old fart is just a chore. He's so stinky and it's so freaking tiring. I need a break. You don't even... Never mind. I guess it doesn't really matter since I'm the one taking care of him. If you left him to you, he'll get bruised up just like a banana. And you're too harsh with your words. Poor Antonio, his suffering would never end. What are you trying to say, huh? Want to say it straight to my face? We can't entrust his care to you. You have no empathy and you won't take care of him properly. Does it make you feel good, knowing that he can even lift a finger to fight back against you? Is that why you do whatever you want to him? I know you would neglect him. Do you think we would even want to leave him to you? What? Are you trying to lecture me now? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> you think you're better than me just because you watch over that big baby? You are way in over your head. I only leave it to you because it's the kind of chore a piece of trash like you should do, and I shouldn't bother. You would think that spouses would support each other until the very end. And yet, here you are, gambling day in and day out. I feel bad for Antonio. I'm the one you should feel sorry for. I wanted him to work more and make even more money. And now look at him. To think he spends most of his time sick in bed... He's done nothing lately to bring home any money for me. Ugh, it's too soon. We barely have any savings. Even if he did work his butt off, what would even be the point? Where does all the money go? To the medical bills? To the house? No. You take our money and go to the slots and horse races every single day. Any money he'd make would be gone the next day. Poof. You even leech off Antonio's 401k, don't you? Must be nice to be a wrinkly old prune, all that free money. But out. I'll spend my money on whatever I want. Will you ever stop going to the slots? You've had this problem for years and years. If you only just quit, we'd be a lot better off. Hey, no one asked for your opinion. Do you ever shut your damn mouth? Do you think you're my mom or something? Of course not. I'm your daughter-in-law. Then stop sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. I'm your mother-in-law. Show me some damn respect, you brat. 
I'm only saying this because I'm thinking about Antonio. He's at the end of his life. Can you be a bit more caring? He's too meek to say anything. But I know he's deeply hurt by how you've been treating him. Ain't nothing going on in that potato brain of his. He would think he's mute. He doesn't say anything when I talk to him. Looks like he's already catatonic. <laughs> he doesn't do anything except lay there all day. It'd be a waste to spend money on him when he's going to die soon anyway. Isn't it a waste to go to the slots? You barely win anything. You just keep losing more and more money. What did I say about butting in, huh? I'll live my life how I want to. I don't have to listen to your whiny bullcrap. You say you're thinking about Antonio and stuff, but you're just looking for some extra cash once he's kicked the bucket, aren't you? You're wrong. Am I? Acting like a goody two-shoes? What a hussy you turned out to be. To think, my son married a gold digger. Stop trying to turn this around on me, Susan. We all know you only stuck around for the cash. Not for this family. You want Antonio's money for yourself. You don't even love him at all, do you? Do you only see him as a cash cow? For Antonio's sake, why don't you just leave him alone? He doesn't deserve any of this. Shut up. You've crossed the line now. Pack your bags and get the hell out of my house. You're not getting even a penny from that old coot. Susan? Where are you? Are you here yet? I'm pretty sure I told you that the memorial service is at 1230. We'll be starting soon. Please, come quickly. We're just waiting on you. I just got back to the house. What do you want? Feel free to get started without me. Why are you at the house? Did you forget something? Be quick! Nah, I'm changing out of these stuffy clothes. Oh, I just hate wearing these tights. I was bored out of my mind, so I'm heading to the slots. Time to celebrate! <laughs> As you can see, something came up. So I can't make it to the funeral anymore. See ya! Are you serious? Today is Antonio's funeral, and you'd rather go to the slots? I can't believe this. I thought that for once you'd skip out and go in. I'm sure I won't miss much. You'll be fine without little Omi, right? Marshall can just be the family rep. He's such a good son. I'm sure he's got it all handled. That's not the issue here. Isn't it improper for a wife not to be at her husband's funeral? Please, come quickly. I can swing by and pick you up so it's faster. Nah, don't waste your time. I found something more interesting than some boring funeral. What do you mean you found something more interesting? What could be a better use of your time than attending the funeral service? Antonio's last will and testament. His will? Where was it? In a desk drawer in his study. So uncreative. It took me less than a minute to find it. Why did you go in there? No one's been in there since Antonio passed away. We haven't even cleaned it up yet. Are you rummaging around for cash because you don't have any money left? You're the desperate to go through the his things? Don't tell me you lost it all at the slots yesterday. I told you we're tight on money right now. We still have Antonio's hospital bills. The funeral costs. How could you? Nah, who cares about that? I'm set. For life! Woohoo! I think you should be more worried about what's written in the will. There's something very delightful written here. You should have waited until the whole family was there before you started reading it. Well, it's good news for me, and bad news for you. Why? What does it say? Here's what it says. <clears throat> you don't have to deal with that damned woman anymore. Isn't this great? Damned woman? I don't get it. Why is that written in there? It's talking about you, of course. Me? No, it can't be. And, just like it says right here, I'm gonna kick you out. <laughs> Good riddance! 
I'm so happy to finally get rid of such an insolent brat. All you do is nag my poor ears off. I can kick back and relax finally. I can get some peace and quiet. Kick me out? Are you sure you're reading it correctly? But I'm married to your son. He wouldn't do that to us. And I can't just leave all by myself without him. I can read just fine. Then you and Marshall can leave together. How sweet. Either way, once you're gone, I'll have this place to myself. You two noisy brats can see yourselves out. Please, wait a moment. Is that really Antonio's dying wish? I don't believe it. Hey, are you doubting me? After all, we did to support him when he needed us the most. Was it really his wish to drive us out of the house? You'd be all alone there. Still in denial? That's really what's written here. And this is for sure his handwriting. I would know since he was my husband. You poor thing. You work so hard to take care of that geezer and this is the thanks you get? <laughs> After that boring funeral's over, get all your crap here, then get the hell out. No, wait. Something's off here. Antonio would never. I know. He wouldn't do this to us. If you don't want to leave, I'll kick you out myself. Since I'm here now, I can help out a bit. I'll toss out all your crap to the yard so it'll be ready for to go for you. No, I won't believe it until I see his will for myself. I believe in Antonio. He would never do something like this. I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. You think you're someone important? My husband never bothered thinking of you. You thought you could get your grubby little hands on his money just by acting all buddy-buddy with him? But things didn't go as planned, huh? How pitiful, you gold-digging leech. Who are you calling a leech? Aren't you the one that's after the money? The ones that were close to Antonio were only me and Marshall. You were never around to support him. You spent more time at the slots than with your own husband. But at the end of the day, don't you know how that ultimately the most important person to him is his beloved wife? I will admit, he's been a pretty useless husband up till now. But now that he's dead, he's finally being useful for a change. I knew I didn't marry him for nothing. Ah, uh, you poor thing. You tried so hard only to get tossed out like garbage. <laughs> is that boring service done with already? I've got your bags all lined up and ready to go. Hurry up and pick up your crap that's an eyesore out here. Go on, leave, you damn woman. It's what my husband wanted. And don't you dare even think about coming back. Sorry to rain in your parade, but I've got some bad news for you. I'm not the one he's talking about. What are you talking about? You've got the wrong idea. In fact, the damn woman he's talking about in here is you, not me. You are the one he wants to kick out. Huh? I told you I can read perfectly fine. What kind of nonsense are you spouting this time? You're the damned woman. From Antonio's perspective, shouldn't it be you? I can't think of anyone else it could possibly be, given how badly you've treated him. It can't possibly be me, since we were so close and he was so kind to me. Moreover, the will that you have now isn't even the official one. What the hell are you saying? I don't know what kind of crap you're spouting, but this document is the real deal. Go ahead, take a closer look. There isn't an even an official seal or signature at the bottom, is there? No, there isn't. But I'm sure it's here somewhere. Let me check. It's probably just a letter addressed to us. Looks like someone jumped the gun a bit there. A lawyer handed us a legal and effective version of the will just a moment ago. It's signed, sealed, and everything. A lawyer give you what? And what kind of will would have words like damn woman in it anyways? Expressions like that aren't even allowed in official documents like this. Although, I do have some good news for you. Your name is written in here. Why the hell wouldn't it be? 
It probably says I'm the one inheriting all of his assets, doesn't it? I hate to break it to you, but no, you're not. It says that all of his assets will be inherited by Marshall. In other words, my beloved husband. What? Why? I'm his spouse. At the very least, half of his assets should go to me. Nope, you're mistaken. Well then, why the hell is my name written in there? The part in here that talks about you is about your removal as the beneficiary. You're lying, wench. That can't be. There's a request written in this will to remove you as the beneficiary. Once you're removed, you won't be able to inherit any of Antonio's assets. W why the hell can't I... Uh, huh? As his wife? Isn't it my natural right? The one exception to that is that if the beneficiary is deemed unfit to inherit any property or assets, and then will be stripped off their rights. Stripped of their rights? What kind of bullcrap system is this? Who the hell made up these rules? If the beneficiary committed a serious offense or shows negligence, one of the qualifications here is if there were cases of considerable misconduct where the beneficiary was reckless with their assets. You seem to fit the bill perfectly. You're not taking anything away from me, you psychotic bitch. Over my dead body, I won't let you pull this crap on me. With the lawyer carrying out the will, we'll be taking this family court from now on. See you there, I suppose. And since we also have evidence of your cruel treatment towards Antonio, I think our claim is an even higher chance of being accepted. What do you think? Evidence? What are you talking about? What evidence? Antonio really covered all of his bases. He secretly hid a camera and Mike in his room. How sneaky. I saw it all. You picked on him every day, didn't you? You belittled him with your words. Beat him. Kicked him. God knows what else happened off the record. I lost my right as beneficiary because of those insignificant little things? That was child's play. Nothing more than some light teasing. Stop trying to minimize it. It wasn't insignificant. It had a serious impact on his well-being. He was all bruised up. He even suffered from depression all because of you. We even have a medical certificate to validate everything. The only thing I had to look forward to in life was to get his damn assets. Ugh. What the hell am I supposed to do now? If that's the case, you should have treated him better. It must be karma. When Marshall inherits Antonio's assets, even the house will be under his name. Sorry, but it looks like you're going to have to leave. You plan to drive me out? Me? A poor old widow? The two of you are heartless monsters. How could you do this to me? I mean, it does say here in the will, you don't have to deal with their mother-in-law anymore. I'm just going along with what's written here. As expected from Antonio, he has always been there for us, just like we had been here for him. Even his final moments, he's still looking out for me and Marshall. Oh, and what did Marshall say, huh? He wouldn't dare toss me out like that. I'm his mother. Isn't it up to him to decide what to do, and not you? You know, since he is the beneficiary now, who do you think you are? As a matter of fact, he's thinking of kicking you out too. Antonio and Marshall share the same sentiments, so there is no problem at all. They both agree that your addiction was spiraling out of control. You need to be stopped somehow. The audacity of that insolent boy. What about me then? What if I have a problem? Too bad. We don't have any problems over here. If you wanted to help you, we can't do anything about you leaving. I won't allow this to happen. I'm going to reduce that frickin' will to ashes. Ashes! And when I do, you're going to regret you ever tried kicking me to the curb. Hand it over, you punk. That's probably not a good idea. You'll get arrested if you do something like that. Well, I mean, I guess it would be a lot quieter around here if they threw you in prison. I'm heading back to the funeral home right now. You'd better be waiting outside when I get there, or else. This is a load of bullcrap. Open these damn doors right now. Why the hell can't I get inside? I'm the wife. How improper. Why do I have to be chased out of here? All of the family members present here don't want you to come inside. 
Since you're the type of person to skip out on a funeral to go to slots, the figure you'd be fine out there. I came back right away, didn't I? The only people that can say their last farewell to Antonio are the ones that were closest to him. Just stay outside, Susan. Which conniving little rat is the lawyer? I've got some business with him. Let me speak to him. What are you hoping to achieve? No matter what you say, nothing will change. I won't be satisfied until I give that puny lawyer a piece of my mind. My head's about to explode because of all of this bullcrap will. Let me at them. The lawyer said he's an acquaintance of Antonio's. He's pretty angry at you, knowing what you've done to him. You probably shouldn't get into a fight with him or anybody, especially a freaking lawyer. It's so scary. I wouldn't want to make him angry if I were you. Especially since he knows the law like the back of his hand. He could probably lock you up forever. I don't have even a cent on me. Not even a single coin. That's my only issue here, I swear. My checkings, my savings, they're both all dried up. That's because all you do is go to the slots or the horse races. There's some mystery as to why you literally have nothing left. I don't think I can keep on living if you kick me out like this. Please, don't cut me off like this. That's all I ask. Okay, okay, get it. But what Antonio wanted was probably your complete and utter destruction. You really have this coming for you, huh? I'm sure you'll get your just desserts. Oh, wait. What about the insurance money? Antonio received a large sum of insurance money. But the beneficiary should have been me. That money's all mine, right? Woohoo! Jackpot! Phew! That was a close one. For a second there, I thought I was a goner. Actually, I have some more bad news for you. Are you freaking kidding me? What is it this time? It looks like Antonio also changed the beneficiary for the insurance money from you to my husband. You won't receive even a single penny. Ugh, that crusty old geezer. He really pulled out all the stops to plan all this. I wonder just how far that bastard went. Does he really hate me that much? I barely did anything to him. You hurt him deeply, physically and emotionally. You're only getting what you deserve, nothing less. He's giving you a taste of your own medicine, even though he was a bit meek. He really was a man of action rather than words. Action? My butt. I knew I couldn't trust that conniving old fossil. He put in all this effort just to get his revenge on me? What a petty, senile old man. If you just think about it a little, you'd understand. He did it because you'd keep the house for yourself and leave us to fend for ourselves. How twisted. I guess it's impossible for even Antonio to love you. So then, was all of this your big plan to get rid of me, huh? Or was Antonio the mastermind all along? No matter what I say, you're just going to believe whatever you want to. Believe. That won't stop me from kicking you out, though. I hope you already started packing your bags. It seems like the house will be more spacious. Oh, it'll be nice and cozy. Maybe I'll rearrange the furniture. No way. You're crazy if you think I'm ever going to leave. Hmm, if that's the case, let's start with tossing your personal belongings outside. Isn't that what you plan on doing to me? You're bluffing, you stupid bitch. How many times do I have to tell you? Don't get it twisted. You're the damned woman, so get the hell out of my house. After that, Susan's removal as a beneficiary proceeded without a hitch. She was stripped on her rights as a beneficiary. And then we kick her out of the house, just like Antonio would have wanted. After we kick her out, my husband burns some sage to cleanse the house. Hopefully, that will get rid of all the negative energy she left behind. Since it was his mom, Marshall said he still feel pretty uncomfortable about the whole situation with Susan. I'm sure it's difficult having to see her own mom self-destruct like that. When I think about Antonio's final years, I understand his feelings a bit better. It was probably a sad and lonely existence, living with someone like Susan, who was a slave to her addiction to slots. No matter how hard he must have tried to help her, it's difficult to save someone who doesn't want to be saved. It's hard to feel compassion for someone like her. You know what they say? You reap what you saw. The other day, 
I held Antonio's picture in my hands and told him that his wish finally came true. When I did that, the rain started pouring down in response. When he saw what had happened, Marshall said that his dad is probably crying up in heaven. I guess we'll never know whether they were tears of sadness or tears of relief. He suffered so much while he was alive. I hope that, at the very least, he can rest in peace now.